Hi everyone, it's Michaela again, back with another speed build. So, for today's speed build, I decided to build on one of the penthouse lots in San Machuno. Um, I haven't built on this one before. I have tried building on the other one, it's like a lot bigger. And that was, that was before I started YouTube and I was not a good builder at all. I struggled so much on that one. It probably took me like a good seven times to like actually do it. But with this one, I didn't have like any troubles at all and I do quite enjoy how it turned out. So this part that I built like on the outside of it, that was supposed to be like a sunroom type of thing, which I don't show myself building in there because I forgot to record that part. Whoops. And I also make this into a loft, so the like the only like enclosed room besides the whole thing obviously is the bathroom. And I also designed this to be like for a painter or artist or something. I'm probably gonna title this video like artist loft or something along those lines. And I did envision someone who likes painting and all the little artsy stuff. And I figured with all the like the large windows that I put in here. It would be really nice. I do think it would be really nice to live here. Like, or just in a penthouse in general. Because, like, you're on the top floor. Unless you're afraid of fights, like my mom. Then maybe not. But I feel like for me, because I'm sometimes afraid of fights, but not too much. But I think it would be really fun up here. And then you get all the nice views of everything. So, right now, I am working on the kitchen, which is really, really big. Especially compared to to like the comparison of the rest of the place. Um, you'll see a little bit when I start doing like the living room area. It That part's pretty tiny compared to the kitchen at least. But you know what, maybe the Sim that lives here really likes to cook or maybe she has like, like the people that come in and cook for you, whatever that's called. I'm totally blinking on the word right now. Or maybe she just likes to invite a lot of people and then have like cooking parties or something. You know, cooking can be like a type of art too, right? I know I've mentioned this in past videos, but cooking and like giant kitchens kitchens, are really important to my family for whatever reason. Probably because they all really like cooking too. I also enjoy cooking, but I'm really bad at it. Or sometimes I'm just too lazy. Like the past few nights, I've just been eating top ramen because it takes like five minutes and it's a lot easier than like actually cooking and prepping stuff and teaching is quite exhausting i'm only a sub so i don't have to do like all the lesson planning and whatnot but dealing with kids all day is very exhausting and the toughest thing about being a substitute teacher is kids don't like to respect you as much which i'm getting better at dealing with that but when it's like day after day of just having kids be mean to you, you know, I just don't have the power to come home and do a lot of things. So most of the time when I come home, it's just like I eat a bunch of food that doesn't take any effort. And then I play video games. And then that's, that's pretty much all I do at night. <laughs> But anyways, right here I am building like the living room area, which you can definitely see is smaller than the kitchen. Um, I didn't really realize this until after I had like built all of it. And I thought about redoing the kitchen, but then that just took a lot more effort. And I feel like, or the way I imagined it, is I imagined just a single sim living here. So she doesn't need a huge living room. She also does not need a giant kitchen, but that's beside the point. And then I just put a dining room table over there. Um, I like the open layout of it, and I feel like if you have this many windows, you would want more of an open layout probably? I don't know. And then over here, I do like another like living room type of thing, just because I want to put a fireplace, because what's more cozy than having a fireplace? Which actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that would be really nice, like during winter, having like all the snow fall outside. And then you're by the fireplace, and then it's super, like, extra cozy. And then you can have, like, a mug of hot chocolate or something. Oh no, I'm really excited for the winter time. I really don't want it to snow, because driving in snow is really not fun. 
especially for me because I'm a really stressed out driver so it's like extra bad for me and also um my driveway it's like kind of on a hill and it goes onto a busy highway well sometimes it's busy right now it's not too much but a lot of times when I'm leaving for work there's just a bunch of cars over there so I'm not really looking forward to it being snowy or icy and doing that uh, at my mom's house, her driveway is really steep too, and whenever it snows, we get snowed in. Or at least she used to. Um, she has a truck now, so maybe it's better. But when I was working in a restaurant and I have to go to work, I would shovel the shit out of the snow. Which my mom never did, because she was lazy. I think she just wanted an excuse not to go to work. I don't know. Sounds like my mom. But anyways, right here I am making the bathroom. Um, I like how I did the Jungle Adventure, I think we get that from Jungle Adventure, the sink. And then those cabinets are definitely from Jungle Adventure, if I remember correctly. And then up here is where I had like the Sims bedroom. I imagine the female Sim living here. And if you hear my cat's bell, that's because she just jumped up on my desk. <laughs> and so I have like this corner as like her bedroom. Okay, like this is where she would sleep and I just have like a nice little cozy corner and then on the opposite corner um, where all the windows are where they meet at that corner I have that be like her artist area I guess I just put like three or four easels over there yeah I put those in right here and then I put a couple other things like I wanted to have those canvases as if she had been painting a lot or something like that and I also put some newspaper down below because I feel like if you have like any type of flooring and you're painting like it's probably gonna get ruined so you should probably have something down unless you're like me when I was in college and in my sorority uh, living in the house we would do a lot of crafting stuff and I was not careful at all I got so much paint on the floor but it easily came off so it's fine right and then over here I just go ahead and do more of like the bedroom part of it and I just put the nightstands and then a dresser and that's pretty much all I put up in this area I also put a rock over there which would make it feel more like the bedroom part of it oh yeah I also put a desk and I figured she would just would just have a laptop I feel like nowadays a lot of people just have laptops I have a desktop just because I really like gaming and it makes my games run nicer, especially the laptops I've had before because they, they they don't run very well. I'll use them once in a while and I'm like, how did I ever handle this being this slow? But anyways, now I'm moving on to the outside parts, the like balconies, deck areas I guess. Um, There are two of them in this penthouse. On this side I have a hot tub because I feel like that would be really nice up <laughs> being this high. Um, there's no pool on this, which I also think that would be really nice, but I didn't put that one in there. And then over here, I decided to put some trees because I don't know if this, I don't think this could really be possible <laughs> on a penthouse, but it's a sim so I can do whatever I want. And I also put this billboard up here in just a little bit because I was like, you know what, maybe the sim just wants a billboard on her freaking penthouse because why not i almost put a sign over here too but then i was like eh, maybe not then i also put some trees over on this side too because again it's a sims i can do whatever the heck i want and this is just about the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye everyone